Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me for today's full body stretch. We're gonna work on everything, hands, feet, sides, hips, you name it, we're gonna stretch it. <laughs> okay, we shall begin. Remember, a nice sturdy chair, a big smile on your face. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose and listen to your body. Don't force it into any pose it doesn't wanna go into. Okay, sitting up nice and tall in mountain pose. So remember, this is very little to this pose it seems, but it's very important because you're sitting up straight, your shoulders are down away from your ears, your back is lovely and straight. Okay, we're gonna do our three breaths in to begin. Inhale the hands up. Remember, only go up as far as is comfortable for you. Exhale down really stretching those arms all the way up to the shoulders two more exhale down one more time inhale up so you want to really get the energy flowing through the body exhale down okay let's start with the neck hands on top of your legs and we're going to just look to the right nice and gentle no jerky movements and slowly back to the front other side and back to the front look down tuck that chin very gently it's a nice stretch in the back of the neck here. And then coming back, neutral, so looking straight ahead. And then a gentle look up. And back. Okay, right ear down towards your right shoulder. So looking straight ahead initially taking that ear down to the shoulder and then look down at that arm you can feel that stretch there in the neck keep breathing and slowly bring it back other side left ear to left shoulder looking straight ahead and then down no jerky movements just gently and back okay so we have loosened up the neck we are now going to do the shoulders so we're going to bring those hands out so bring the chest forward and then bring those arms as far forward as you can stretch them out inhale them up check that you're not leaning back so keep that back straight and then you're just going to bend the arms at the elbow now if they only go to here that's fine if you can take them behind great if not you're just getting a lovely tricep stretch here which is that little baggy bit at the top of the arms <laughs> which shouldn't be baggy but is for most of us but there we go <laughs> doesn't matter does it inhale up bring the arms down to goddess and then bring the elbows and palms together and release so you feel that shoulder movement and hopefully they're a little bit looser now so just roll the shoulders and we're going to take them up again we're going to clasp the hands together like a like a palm tree so we're going to push up and then we're going to bend the elbows and bring them down so we're pushing up and down and up, check your back's not arching or rounding. Keep it as straight as you can. And don't forget to breathe. I know I say that a lot, but it's easy to forget. Stretching up and then reaching those hands all the way down. Okay, you can feel those shoulders have warmed up. We're gonna take that left arm across the body and use the right arm to pull it in a bit so you're getting that stretch in the shoulder. Again, listen to your body, don't strain, and don't hold your breath. <laughs> hold the pose, not the breath. And release. Other side, right arm, cross the body, left arm comes up. Big shoulder stretch here. 
and release. Okay, let's work on the arms and the hands, so stretch them out. Fingers spread and we're just going to flip the palms. So really getting that blood flowing through the arms. That's it. And then fingers together and palms down. So really stretch those arms all the way up to the shoulders. That's it. And then bring the palms to face each other. We're going to give ourselves a cuddle. Grab those shoulders and let your head hang down. Close your eyes. So you're getting a stretch in your shoulders, your upper back and your neck. Sit. Make a note of which arm is on top because we're going to lift up and inhale them open. And then make sure the other arm's on top. So we do both sides. Folding down. And lift up. Inhale, open. And lower down. Okay, so still working with the hands and fingers. We're going to clasp those hands out in front, so give them a good stretch first of all. And then release, and then we're going to cross the hands and clasp them together. Again, make a note of which hand is on top, and then we're just going to bring those in and out, and in, and out. And then other hand on top, in and out, in and out. Okay, give those fingers a wiggle. Both hands up facing each other. <clears throat> There's four little movements here. So we're going to bend the fingers, so imagine like you're making like a roof. And then you're going to make a claw and then a fist. So let's do that again. Palms facing each other and then flat. And then a claw and then a fist. And then just give those hands a shake and spread the fingers and wiggly. Piano fingers, I like to call them. So we've done the, the hands and the wrists. We're going to do a torso twist now. We're going to cross the legs as well. So left leg over right. We're going to hold that left knee with our right hand and take that left hand behind. Big breath in, lift up. Exhale over your left shoulder. So getting a chest, chest stretch, a stretch across your chest. And like I always say, you're massaging those internal organs. You're not holding your breath. Keep breathing. Enjoy this wonderful stretch. and release back to the front. Okay, other side. Right leg over left. Hold that right knee with your left hand and take your right hand behind. Lift up, big breath. And remember, lift out that lower back as you come up. Inhale up. Exhale over your right shoulder. Remember, listen to your, your body. If your neck hurts, just look straight ahead. Don't turn the neck at all. Just, just take that shoulder back, but listen to your body always. Always, always. And release. Okay, wonderful. Let's do a little side bend. So let's bring those legs nice and wide and stretch out the arms. And then bring that right arm down, left arm alongside your ear, like a little side angle here, but with a squat. Roll that shoulder back. That's it. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale down the other side. Right arm alongside your ear. Lovely side stretch here. Really good. And release. Keep those legs wide. We'll do a little, we'll do a little sort of a torso like hip circles so we're gonna just go all the way around that's it we're gonna do four one way and then four back the other way lovely wonderful 
wonderful. Okay, shall we get into a warrior two? I think we will. Come back onto your chair and take that back foot back. Now, if your chair is, is wider than this, um, you can always take that leg out to the side. But mine, fortunately, is a fairly narrow seat to it. So get yourself in position and stretch those arms out for warrior two. Okay, so really stretching the arms. So we're going to do a reverse warrior. So big breath in, and then that back hand slides down as far as it can, and the front hand comes up. Just keep breathing. That's it. Put that stretch down the front of that hip flexor. And back to warrior two. And then bring both hands to face the front. And place them on you and just lean forward as much as is comfortable for you. That's it. And then coming back, so back to your warrior two, stretch those arms, imagine someone's pulling them in opposite directions. And lower down. Back to the centre of your chair, we're going to do the same on the other side. So take that back foot back, foot flat on the floor if you can, and back into your warrior two on this side. That's it. So nice, big breath in. Reverse, back hand slides down, left hand up and look up, that's it. Look up or look straight ahead, always whatever's comfortable for your neck. And inhale back to warrior two and then both hands out in front and then just resting on the front there, just reaching over. Again, only as far as is comfortable for you. And back, and back to your seat, bringing your legs back in front. Okay, let's do a little, a little sun salutation. So sitting up nice and tall in your mountain, remember those shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale up, exhale forward. Remember, come down only to a point that's comfortable to you. Just hang here, feel that stretch in your back. And then come up onto your hands, onto your knees. Shoulders back, chest forward for a cobra. And back down again. And place that left hand on top of your right foot. Take your right hand up. So a little rotation here. Keep breathing. And lower down. Other side, right hand on left foot, left hand up. And down. Inhale back up. And exhale down. Okay. How about a, a prayer twist? So, palms together. And bring that left elbow down to your right knee. Push the hands together. That's it. Lovely. Remember, keep breathing. And slowly coming back out. Just in between, sit up nice and tall. Palms together in prayer, right elbow, left knee. And rotate that body round for another spinal twist. Really good for you. Keep breathing. And coming out again. Sitting up nice and tall. Okay, let's get the blood moving in the legs. So we're going to do a little bit of a, a march. So just opposite legs. That's it, a seated march. That's it, lift those legs, legs up as, as high as is comfortable for you. That's it. Lovely. Okay, now. We've lifted those legs up. We're going to lift them all the way up and hug them in. We're going to do our figure four. So we're going to grab that foot and place it on the left knee. So remember, sitting up nice and tall, gentle pressure on that knee if it's comfortable. Leaning forward, 
but listening to your body. And coming back, release. Opening up the hips, lift that left leg up, hug it in, cross it over. And again, a little stretch forward. Lovely. So this is really good for the hips. And straightening up, okay. Foot to the floor, let's do a little eagle balance. Well, not balance, an eagle twist really, because we're, we're, luckily we're on our chair. So we'll do our legs first. So cross that right leg over. Now you can just keep your legs like that, or if you want to tuck that leg all the way around, you can. Or just keep it like that. So listen to your body. You know, it depends on how, <laughs> how loose your hips are. So we've got the right leg over the left. So we're going to stretch out the arms, and then we're going to bring them as far forward as we can. And we're going to take our right arm over our right, over our left arm. Now, you can either bind your hands together. I like to clasp my hands, but you can put them flat. Or if that's too much to bind them twice, you can just grab your shoulders. But listen to your body. So this is eagle, eagle arms and eagle legs. So it's a wonderful pose for your joints. When you hold this pose, your joints, your elbows, wrists, hips, knees, ankles, all being flooded with synovial fluid, which is like an oil can for your joints. So you can hold this pose for as long as you can, but when you want to come out of it, come out of it. But just remember to keep breathing, release. And I will say, just give everything a shake in between. That's it. Lovely. Okay, let's do the other side. You may find one side easier than the other. So you might find that this side, you can get your leg all the way around, or the other side, but it doesn't matter. Remember, there's no competition here. This is just you <laughs> against you. So stretch out those arms, eagle legs and then eagle arms. So left, left leg over, right leg, left arm over, right arm, hands or shoulders. Again, whatever works for you. And just make sure that you keep breathing. So find a, find a, 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 part, a portion of this that's comfortable so that you can hold it as long as you can. Because it's a completely unnatural way, obviously, to hold your body, but that's why it's so, <laughs> so wonderful. Because it's so, so good for your joints. I finish, I have this pose in all my Hatha yoga classes, in all my hall base classes, because to me, it's just the most essential one ever. Okay, and release. So again, give everything a shake. And we're gonna finish with the lower body now. So I think we'll just do a few little heel roses. So hands on your knees, we're gonna lift those heels. As I've said in many videos before, these are quite, quite important because obviously your feet are very, very important and these are helpful in preventing falls. So a very important one to do, especially as we get older. So looking after those feet. Okay, ankle circles. Sit back a little bit, stretch out that right leg. Eight circles. Eight back the other way. Left foot, stretch it out and eight. release. Okay, we'll just do the hamstring stretch, really stretch out the legs, and then we're going to have a little slow down, a little breathing, a little body scan. Okay, engage the thighs. You're stretching out your right leg straight, your left knee is bent, 
the toes of your right foot are pointing up towards you. You're kind of lifting them up and engaging that thigh. Sit up nice and tall. You can stay here or you can lean forward a little bit to increase that stretch. But do what feels good to you. And slowly bring that leg back, other side. Engage that left thigh, lift those toes. Sit up nice and tall, both hands on the opposite knee and lean forward, if that's comfortable. Breathe. And release. Okay, so now sit back on your chair. So we're going to do a little body scan, which is again what's one of the things I do at all my I have a whole base classes. We always finish with a 10 minute relaxation. We're not going to spend 10 minutes, but we are going to do the body scan. So place your hands on your knees, sit back, or you can have them in your lap, whatever's most comfortable for you. Just sitting up as tall as you can, so kind of straight but at the same time relaxed. Make sure your shoulders aren't up by your ears, relax them down, close your eyes, and just breathe. So you're aware of the rise and fall of your body with each breath. Now bring your awareness to your scalp and feel that relax and lift away from your skull. Relaxing your forehead, your temples, your cheekbones and your jaw. Relaxing all the little muscles around the eyes. Now bring your attention down to your mouth. Just allow your tongue to rest against the back of your upper teeth and allow your lips to gently part so that there's no tension in the face at all. It's just relaxing the whole of the face, moving down to the neck and the throat and down to your shoulders. Relaxing your upper arms and your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your hands, and letting all the tension out through the fingertips. So your arms are just heavy and relaxed. And now bring your awareness to your chest, aware of the rise and fall. Relaxing your upper back, all the way down the spine to your lower back. Relax your abdomen, your hips and your buttocks. So feel yourself sitting firmly in the chair, nice and relaxed. Relax your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles your feet and let all the tension drain out through the toes so the whole of your body feels soft and relaxed. Just stay here for a few moments, just silently breathing. Okay, so just very gently wiggle your fingers and your toes and slowly open your eyes. We're just going to take a gentle breath in, so inhale those hands up, palms together, exhale through the mouth and namaste. And there we are, so I really hoped you enjoyed that. I hope you feel really good. Please let me know what you thought. I love reading your comments. I love reading where you're watching from. And most of all, I love reading about how much difference the uh, exercises have made to you. So please, and it's lovely for other people as well to, you know, share 
share your journey, share your experience with everybody. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for practicing with me and um, I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, bye.